Hello, and thank you for coming to today's training webinar, How to Create a Reward. Playtension's reward system is a great motivator. It allows your student to purchase rewards with points earned throughout play attention. Your student earns points by achieving the game goals and behavior goals set by Sheer Genius. You can always check the number of reward points your student currently has by looking at the number in the circle next to his avatar. Let's create a new reward. You see that I'm logged in as coach. I then click the rewards tab, and this brings me to a page where I can view all of the rewards I created previously. If I look at any particular reward, you see that I get a lot of information. I can see the name of the reward, a description of that reward, who's purchased this reward, and how many points I assign to this reward. This means that if my student wants to purchase staying up late, he's going to have to spend 15 of his reward points. I can make this reward available for all of my students, or I can select specific students. I also want to point out here that there are different types of rewards we do encourage you to create. There are short-term rewards like this ice cream cone and long-term rewards like the trip to the amusement park. The ice cream cone is considered a short-term reward because it has a lower point value. It's only going to cost eight points, which means my student can probably purchase this reward at the end of a session. My long-term reward costs 75 points. Therefore, my student is going to have to save his points in order to purchase this larger reward at a later time. This teaches your student how to delay gratification, which is a very important skill. Let's go back up to the Create New Rewards button. We'll click that and type in a reward name. Now I've discussed with my student what he wants to earn and he wants to earn more computer time. So I'm going to put in extra computer time as my name and give it a point value. I then can type in more detailed information. I then can state who I want this reward available to, either all students or I can click specific students. I can then add a picture and save the reward. Now you see that it's in my list with all of my other rewards. If at any time I want to change or delete this reward. I can click on Edit Reward and I can make any changes here. Thanks so much for coming to today's webinar. We'll see you next time.